Hey guys, it's Wayne with Therapy Nexus. I just want to show y'all, uh, somebody had a question about their shoe coming off while they're on the rower. So I come forward like this on this rower, and I hopefully you aren't strapping your foot down too much on these, because they it's just so much. And then if I come forward, you can see my heel start sliding out. He said he gets it whenever he's really digging in. So you can see my heel coming up over and over again. So it's almost popped out right there. See, there it is. And so if you even have a little bit of a slide in that, it's gonna pop out. So. The other thing is, if you're strapped down, you're coming back. You see this here? This the knee straighten and this one can't. You might break your exosome, and that's a nine thousand dollar mistake. So, and also when you come forward, you just look at my knees here. You can see it here. This one's further forward. This one stays back. This one's higher. This one's lower. Same things happening to my SI joint and my hip. Something's gonna not work along the way. So you have you can't strap yourself down. You need to do this. I know it might not be very, you know, I can't do that with my rower kind of thing, but that's what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to get it to where these knees can straighten out and these, this toe has to come up with this toe so that they come up the same way. When you go forward, this heel needs to come up with this heel. They need to match. Now, if you have bilateral ideos, rock on. You go ahead and tear it up. But you'd see these knees match now. When you go back, the knees match. There you go, that should stop you from popping out. Or you can use this method here where you tie it on with the zip tie. You can watch the other video for that. Another thing you can do is take your heel wedges. Let me see that one too, buddy. There you go. I found that this is the best way right here. I just got these guys right there. I'll put them there. That'll help you keep this uninvolved leg toe up. So you come back, you go forward. You come back, you go forward. And it kind of keeps you in the same track. I don't have to work so hard to keep that toe up. Go back, and there you go. Cool? Don't need that one yet, buddy. All right, and the other way is putting them like this, but the problem with that is that my shoe pops out the back. See that? My shoe will pop out the back. So I think the best thing you can do is either put it like that or unstrap it. All right? Uh, let me know if there's anything else I can try to figure out for you or want me to make you some heel wedges. All right, thanks.